unlock a screen, we're gonna look for settings. So we click on the icon settings, then we go to mail, contact, and calendar. Then here in mail, contact, and calendar, we will see accounts. We add an account. We want. We will select Microsoft Exchange. Where is your email? Then the domain. The domain is. Then our username. That it will be the first part of our email address. password for your email and the description Right here on their server, the server name. We will leave everything else the same. Here on their mail, well, we will um, leave on what is mail, contacts, calendars, and reminders. And we will save that. And then it's going to add that account. Then what we want to, we want to go back to that account. And here where it says mail, days to sync, we probably, it's, it's by default, it's like three days. But probably we want to change it to, I'm going to set it for one week. I think one week for me is just fine. Maybe some other people might want to change it to two weeks or one month. But really, just consider that um, if you have a lot of email, if you receive a lot of email, well, two weeks and one month, it will be a lot of email that is going to be syncing back and forth. So i just put it to one week. And that's it. And just to verify that, that that my account is there, I go to mail, and my email is there. And it should have all my email for the for the current week. I can go back to my folders to verify that I can see all my folders. And I have all my subfolders there.